Thank you for watching Wikipedia World videos. In this session of SAP Business One, we'll be learning about the customer equipment card. First, let us see where is the customer equipment card found. It is found in the main menu under the service and the second menu item as customer equipment card. Customer equipment cards from the database that contains all the serial items that you sold to your customer and for which service can be provided. So it is basically a database or a directory of the items and their serial number and a related customer, the dates and everything that you have sold and against which you are providing any kind of services. You can track the history of a specific serial number, say this one, from the day you sold the item and throughout its entire service period. The customer equipment card contains information as location of an item at which you can provide the service, service calls that are related to the item, service contracts that can cover the items, sales information, inventory transaction data and other things. You can have also the following options like creating customer equipment cards that enables customer equipment card to be created automatically for every sole item that is managed by serial numbers. Now customer equipment cards can be created automatically when AR invoice that is accounts receivable invoice or deliveries are created. Use the automatic creation method when the customer purchases both equipment and service for the item from the company. You can create, update or delete customer equipment cards. For example, you can update a equipment card by adding attachments, changing the status or assigning the related item to a different customer. You can delete an equipment card that is not linked to an account receivable invoice or delivery and for which there has been no activity recorded. You can bring the form into add mode and when you see the the first tab that is general tab you can specify the customer information and the serial number you can choose the status of the customer equipment card at here and enter the details for the technician and territory on the address tab you can mention the address detail for the customer which obtained the item with this serial number on the sales tab sales data tab you can specify the buyer code delivery and sales invoice detail if they are available within SAP business one and of course on attachment tab you can have attachments we'll see these these tabs one by one in details but let us see another thing so moving on to the service calls you have something like call id creation date when was this call id created what was the subject this can be some error or some problem that was recorded item number and serial number other things then you have service contract you have a service contract related to this customer equipment card and this service type is warranty so it also shows us the start date and the end date then you have sales data that shows the code of the customer the name the delivery then you have transaction related then the attachments now we have something called as service contract also that can be directly related to the service equipment card so a service contract between a customer and a company enables us to provide maintenance and repairing for an item beyond the manufacturer's warranty coverage you can define the type of service for which customer is eligible. So here is the service contract. You have customer code, the name, contact person description, the contract number, the date and all. And you have general tab, item coverage, attachment, service call and sales data. Now service contracts. Let us see what are the contract type and what it covers. SAP Business One supports the following service contract types first is the customer 
where servicing of all items that are purchased by the customer without reservation of any item group or serial number can be done. Next is the item group where the service for items that belong to a specific item group is done. For example, the contract with a customer, say microchips, covers the service for the items in the printer's group. This means the customer receives services for all items that belong to this group, regardless of their serial number. Next is the serial number, which includes services for items which specify serial numbers. So you can enter a service contract manually or you can base it upon another like predefined contract template. In addition, service contracts can be created automatically when a serial number item is delivered to the customer. So how the process works? If a customer orders a serial number item, you create either through a delivery net or AR invoice to deliver the item to the customer. The customer equipment card is created automatically for serial number items. The customer equipment card provides you with complete overview of all service related information for the service number. During the same time, a service contract for the serial number item is created automatically since the warranty covers these items. This results you can now open service calls for serial number items. You can also create customer equipment card manually. This may be necessary for a customer that buy the serial number item from another vendor but want to buy the maintenance contract for the equipment from another company that is you. In this case you must also create the service contract manually. Now service contract templates. The templates you can define service contract between your company and its customer. The contract includes item managed by serial number that the company supports like daily services hours or even an obligatory resolution time for solving customers problem. So again it is found in administration under the setup under the service as contract templates. When you are about to create a new contract you can base it on a contract template. Coverage details are copied automatically from the contract template. For example, if you can add an attachment to a contract template, the attachment is also copied to all the service contract if they are based on the particular template. From SAP Business One, you can see that in administration, under the setup folder, we have contract templates. So the contract template window appears. You can bring it into add mode, enter a new contract name, select a contract type, And then on the coverage tab, define the days and hours of service to which the company is committed to provide services to its customer. On the remarks tab, you can have a general remark related to the contract template. So you can name a specific or a unique name for the contract template. Contract type specify the type of the contract template that is customer item group or serial number for all the items that you sell to a customer for example for item group for items that are specific to an item group when you talk about the serial number for items with a specific serial number now we have response time also response time specifies the maximum time allowed before responding to a service call. From the drop down list, you can select any time unit like hours or days and specify the maximum number of hours or days. Resolution time in the same manner, specify the time that is maximum time to which the company commits to resolve a service call. Again, from the drop down item or the drop down list, you can select the time unit that is hours or day, days. On the coverage tab, you can use this tab to define what the service contract covers par, like hours and labors and travels. So you can have selected all the days of a week or whatever days that you are working, you can select those things. If you want to include parts, labor or travel, 
or include holidays you can check all these things you can specify the time for the days of a week say if saturday is half day and sunday is holiday so you can check off this thing and saturday you can just specify the four hours working time so when you select the parts the item used by the technician during the service call that will be included when you select labor the technician's labor time for example the time required to take for technician to fix the problem will be included of course then the traveling when you select this checkbox will be included so you can use this tab that is general tab on the service contract we are back to the service contract you can use this tab to view and modify general information about the contract let us see about the fields we have service type you can select either a regular or warranty a warranty contract can be created automatically when accounts receivable invoice or a delivery is added for an item with the serial number management a regular contract when you talk about it can only be created manually contract type you can choose the contract type again it is serial number customer or item group for serial number the items with specific serial number customer for all the items that you sell to a customer an item group again the items that belong to a specific item group you can choose a template a contract template instead of specifying all the fields in the contract manually also so this contract service contract can have couple of status that can be assigned first is approved then on hold in approved the customer is entitled to receive service according to the contract in on hold the contract is set to inactive and the customer is not entitled to receive the service in draft the contract is not approved and the customer is not entitled to receive the service this is default status for all the service contract then there is terminated status the contract is terminated and the customer is not entitled to receive the service to end the service contract you have to specify the termination date in the termination date field then you have owner where you specify the name of the user who is responsible for the service contract if you want to have a renewal you can uh, enable this checkbox to renew an expired service contract then you set a reminder where you specify the number of days weeks or month for alert to appear to prior to the termination of the service contract then you have items tab you can use this tab to specify or view the item details for the contract the fields and the structure of this tab change according to the selected contract type first is for serial number manage contract type then it is for item group contract type so in the grid you have item number item description if there was any manufacturer serial number then serial number then start date end date then coverage tab which we have already covered in the previous slide then we have service call you can use this tab to view all the service calls related to the items in the service contract where you have creation date the date in which the service call was created the subject of the service call item number regarding which the service call was created the serial number of the item for which the service call was created and the status so that is it for this session we'll meet you in the next session thank you